We live, baby. Part two. I think that is so funny. If you look at my lives, she had blonde hair this week. She had short hair this week. Now she got long black hair. Hey. She's trying to get it how I can. My lip gloss, really? Hey, Farrah, welcome back. Hey, Miss Kia Michelle. I love your blogs. I love, love, love your blogs. They spicy, girl. Hey, her thirsty soul. Podcaster. Full of encouragement. She's awesome. Good. I'm glad y'all came back. I'm glad. I am back. We are back. So before we left, we were talking about everything. You just have to keep up or follow <laughs> it on the page. We done hit every subject possible. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to talk about networking online. Mm -hmm. I think this is important. I think this is something, even if you're not a business owner, you need to know how to network yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, B, you go ahead and start, and I will just sprinkle in. So, networking online, especially right now, is super important. Super, super, super important, because um, some of us are business owners, some of us aren't. It's always important to network and reach out, and, you know, just, especially now, everybody could use positive, kind words or some kind of social circle to tap into for encouragement um, and resources, what have you. Um, but there are different ways to network online to get your business out there. Um, me as a social media influencer, a beauty influencer as well, it's part of my job <laughs> to right. um, not only post any days that I'm not posting or any times that I'm not creating content and putting content out. I still have to go and find people within my network or within my niche and interact with their content or, you know, reach out to them just so that way they know that I'm here because if they don't know you exist, they can't patronize you. They can't promote you. They can't refer you to anybody else. Um, Cause you never know who you can connect with from doing that. And that's just what I do here on Instagram. So like, what are, what are some tips that you have as far as like networking on Instagram or in, real, in person? So, so many, so many, I've been really taking the time. The first thing, if you notice my page, my page is not branded yet. Uh, because I am transitioning and starting from scratch. I want to build uh, my page kind of from scratch and start with content so I can be relatable to other people who are like, well, I'm not good with social media. I don't get that, you know? So teach how to build that following back. But the first thing that I think, even if you don't have the colors and you don't have all the frills and the, the cutesy little designs, make sure you have your bio right. As soon as they see your bio, that is the first, mm -hmm. it's like your advertisement, your billboard, you know what I'm saying? Before people want to network with you, they want to know about you. I don't want to have to go and scroll through all your pages and all your pictures of you and your baby and your mama and your cousin before I realize what it is that you actually do. So make sure you at least have your bio where it explains who you are, what you do, and the services you provide. Um, the second thing would be when you network, uh, it's more so how you network. So how do you go about reaching out to other people? Do you DM them? I've heard people just like photos and wait. What do you do? Uh, for me, uh, depending on what the nature of, like what the intention is, first things first, I always want to establish a genuine interaction. Like I don't want to just off top come at them with like, hey, I want to collaborate or hey, I want this or hey, I want that. You show up with useful relevant content or useful relevant information that establishes a connection between 
you and them. Like, for example, whenever I post on my page, I'm, I'm not going to talk like anybody else other than myself. I'm not going to do anything outside of who I am. So if anyone comes to my page, they know what they're getting and who they're getting. And if I go over to your page, and if I'm leaving you, Maxie, if I'm leaving a comment on something of yours, I'm talking like I'm talking and I'm establishing a connection with you the same way I would with like a friend or like someone in person. And then from there, it's a lot easier if you want to collaborate or if you need to, um, you're trying to establish a different kind of relationship with uh, with the, this brand or with this company or this person, then it's a lot easier to go from there. Exactly, exactly. So Taylor, I'm going to use you as an example, if you don't mind, boo. Um, I'm going to use you as an example because you were the last person who commented and you said I'm an up and coming stylist in the Dallas area. So the first thing is, your bio should say Taylor, the hairstylist, Taylor, DFW braider, something that people can easily say, okay, she does hair. And then your bio, your feed should feature at least some of your work. Because even if you're not doing anybody's hair at the time, you got hair. So if you're doing something with your hair or posting tips about hair, you know, just start to think about that. And because you're new, like I am, I just had to be, the word isn't aggressive, but just really make myself known in an opportunity. And that's where staying ready comes in. Because when I saw B and I saw that she was talking and engaged with her people on live, sometimes I'll just request to go on live. And that is weird. I will say that. That is weird. Most people, when they hop on, they like, hello. See, see, but right there. Before you requested the live, you were already talking and being lively. And I was like, she good people. I want her on. See, mm -hmm. just like just like that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So entrepreneurs that I want to work with, people that I know either, okay, I could help them in one way. We could monetize. We could build. We could do something together. I'm looking for those people. So when they go on live, when B was asking questions, who was being interactive asking her questions? Me, you know, if she says anything or she's like, so what do you think about this? If she said pink or purple, I'm saying pink or purple because I want her to be, I'm interactive and I'm engaged. So when I click, you know, request, she requested me and I was ready to go. You know, another woman told me, you know, you always want to hop on live, but make sure you have something to promote. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm a DFW stylist. So make sure you get at me, Taylor K underscore, you know. Just make sure that you're putting yourself out there. Sometimes people get shy about asking for sales, asking for clients. But again, closed mouths don't get fed, okay? Put yourself out there. There's no one like you, you know? And the people who are for you, it's crazy. You'll find even if it's millions of people on social media. I guarantee you, you know, all of my interviews, no one called me and said, hey, can I interview you? I think, you know, you're new and, you know, I see you're trying to just put yourself on and build up some clients. So can I help you? Nobody's coming in your inbox and asking you that. Don't Nobody. get the people that oh you want to work with. Okay. This because if somebody was mean to me, I'd go, you know, I didn't even want to work with her. No way. Mm -hmm. But what if there's a chance that the people that you reach out to are like B and they'll help you? And they'll support you. And then you start making bonds with women across the country because it's like, mm -hmm. I just put myself out there just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And these women just embrace me. Okay? Mm -hmm. You know, I have a community of women who are supporting me and encouraging me and liking and sharing. It's, ooh, and I almost knocked my head. I'm just trying to get this fruit. <laughs> Let me get it together, guys. But I like, it, I so. like what you said about the the bio. That is invaluable information. Like the same way you said for for people to set up their bio, that's don't miss your blessing because people don't know what you do or what you offer. So mm -hmm. in addition to like what I do, just I'm a moderator for a really big Facebook group. It's like forty thousand women. It's a bunch of forty thousand makeup lovers in this group. And one on Instagram here, it's like twelve thousand in that on that page so i'm a moderator for both of them and i help to like approve and you know approve and get people set up to do beauty lives and stuff like this if i go to your page and i don't know what you do and i don't see your work in there there's no indication of no no I, i'm a, you can get passed over just like that just like that not being ready and you know what let me tell y'all something about getting ready 
just drop something if y'all know who Miss Skittles is. I don't want to talk if y'all don't know who it is. But everybody, if you don't know Miss Skittles, you should, right? Miss Skittles the is the Simone's manager. She's the they mom. just opened. She's the mom. Just opened a uh, Rosie. Yeah. Hey, Franz, baby. Hey, friend. I'm sorry, you were talking. You said Skittles. Oh, you're Skittles. Good, you're good. I'll just say hi to Bronze. Yes, we want. There you go. <laughs> hey, Bronze. So, um, so they just opened their warehouse, and uh, you have a separate page for your beauty good. King Ashley Ann just told me the other day you need to have a separate business page. So mm -hmm. I'm going to get on that too. But, um, I want to work with Miss Skittles, y'all. And that's one of my manifestations that I have in my journal. You know, I was like, God, thank you for the opportunity that I've been working with Karen Civil, Miss Skittles, mm. Alori Swank. And uh, I'm glad that I get to provide them services. Like, we on a first name basis, right? And y'all, I'm um, about this close. I'm not this close. I'm about this Look, close. Look, right? I got excited. I had to hold the chair. I said, tell me something. You know, I'm so it's so happy. So I'm going, we just don't go ahead and put it on here, but I'm glad I work with these women. And so I sent them a message introducing myself, an email. I found their business page, the icing agency. Uh, Alori Swank has the Swank Posh. Ming Lee has her snobs. And so I reached out on all of those pages. I DM'd all of those pages and then I DM'd their email, right? Mm. And hi, I'm Maxie Taylor, marketing director and radio host out in Dallas, Texas. I blah, 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 blah. And so I went through my whole spiel. I would love to earn your service. So it's pending. You know, they've messaged back. They're asking questions. And this is the first step to getting in the door. Now, I haven't talked to Miss Skittles, and I ain't seen her face to face. I'm not You're saying that, but there. in yes, the door. <laughs> you me. You've seen my name once. That's all I need. Oh my god! So, I'm proud of you. So, I love it. Thank, you. thank you. I and it's it. just now, y'all got to get out that comfort zone. It's it's cozy and it's nice, but in the stretch zone, I'm telling you, over here it's lovely. It's very the sun lush. don't shine all way. Some days <laughs> it's very, might be a little it's, bit. It's very lush. <laughs> but it's very lush. Exactly, it's very lush. Once you get the hang of it, it's fabulous. It's fabulous. Thank you guys for the support on that. So I will let y'all know when a contract go through because we're working mm -hmm. on it, we're praying on it. Oh, but the reason why I said it's getting ready because Skittles, um, I don't know if it's their admin system, this and that and the other, but I didn't, like I said, I'm starting from scratch. So I didn't have a full website. I didn't have, you know, uh, a page that had branding on it and stuff like that. And she was like, well, what's your ad name? What's your website? What's this? What's that? And I was like, Retreat, 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 you know what I'm saying? Because you're not all the way ready. Mm -hmm. But now that I know what they expect, boom, please believe you're going to see the updated email. Mm -hmm. I'm getting my website completed soon so I can send it to them. And I'm just like, hey, sorry, for they knew I'm a new business owner. Here's my website and all my information. Mm -hmm. So staying ready and just always being adaptable and flexible That's because... True. I didn't expect them to do all that when I messaged back. I didn't even expect to get an email back. Yeah. So I was lit when I got one, you know. And then when she was asking all these questions, I was like, oh, Lord, I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. you know? But don't let that discourage you. Go back, edit whatever you need to edit, do whatever you need to do, and go back harder. Mm -hmm. Hey, sis, I'm the marketing director and radio host out in Dallas, Texas. Check out my website. I would still like to earn your service. You, you know, go. keep going. That's the truth. That's the truth. Look, you done started touching on pitching the brands and companies, but we're not going to delve. We're not going to go down that rabbit hole today. It's, it's just it's so much. <laughs> so much. I can see y'all maybe hopefully paying for that in the future. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. Not, not to, not, look, not to, not to put it out there, but put it out there. But, yeah, but you know, know, we'll definitely come back to uh, yes. This is awesome, and B has a great, great conversation just about business and womanhood and life in general. We've only been able to touch a few things, but I'm telling you guys, surround yourself with people. Issa Rae, um, if y'all don't know who Issa Rae is, she's a director, a black female director, phenomenal. She did Awkward Black Girl, now she's doing Insecure. Mm -hmm. But Issa Rae said, 
when people are networking, one thing that they try to do is always go after the big guns, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, I had a few women on my list, Alori, Miss Skittles, you know, Karen Civil, and I'll be working with these women very soon. But I also reached out to people who were either right beside me or just a little bit ahead of me, you know. Really, really look at people who are coming up in the game with you, people who are on the same level, you know, are, are not the same level, higher than you, but enough where it's like, she can still pull me back and reach me and, you know, help me out. Because when you network with people alongside of you, they're looking for collaborations like you're looking for collaborations. So anytime they're trying to do something, y'all are bouncing ideas off of each other. Y'all are partnering together for giveaways. And boom, when she makes it, her brand is familiar with you. Like, you're her sister brand almost. So network with people who are, you know, 2,000 followers, mm -hmm. 3,000, 5,000. Mm -hmm. Because they're trying to get to 20K just like you too. They're trying to get their sales up and bring awareness to their brand. Why not partner with them? Hairstylist. Go ahead. I love that you said that. Like, it's nothing wrong with having peers, but it is, you can't ask someone for directions when they've never been where you're trying to go. So, oh. yeah, go for the big fish. I will, I'm going to go for the biggest fish. <laughs> I'll go for yeah. the biggest fish. Because I can't, like, for example, like, your, your friends, your parents, like, they don't, they may not understand the call on your heart or what you're trying to do or how you're going to get there. So asking them how you may not be a productive thing to do. So yes, have to surround yourself with people who, you know, are headed the same direction where you are, or like already where you want to be or like on the road, like halfway there, something, but don't be just complacent with like your peers who are like right there or like, you know, right there with you. Like, if you're in Dallas, you need to be looking for Houston, Austin. And you honestly need to be looking for Oklahoma, Louisiana, Mississippi. All places within six hours in drive time. Those are the people that you need to be networking in. I think the hardest thing is entrepreneurs to reach outside that first sphere of influence. Yeah. My hometown. Yeah. Breaking out of that area. So what I do is I make sure, like, some of y'all, we went to high school together. And I love y'all. But I ain't trying to add nobody else who remember me from high school, okay? It's so right. if you made it, it's because okay. I love you, okay? Yeah, it's all right. If you made it, it's because I love you. Because you look, we all are the last ones. Mm -hmm. like, D, D is in Detroit right now. We, she is not in Detroit. If I say it one more time, she is in Denver. How far is Denver from Texas? Uh, it's a 16-hour drive. 16 hours and the only reason why I know is because the very first time we drove up here when my fiance was moving out here for work we drove that's the only reason why 16 hours yeah 16 hours yeah we're not gonna let that frustrate us on this live <laughs> we're gonna keep today. the energy we're gonna talk about that like because you know planes down on. right now it's enough going on anyway we'll just okay, we'll just leave that there now Hold on to the good news that you said. But there you go. <laughs> but um, another thing about uh, networking, what was it? Not working with people. Oh, so she made a comment about how your mom and your parents, maybe your family members may not relate to the mission and the purpose that's on your life. And the way my coach says it is so beautiful. My business coach says to me, your parents love you. Your mm -hmm. sister, your family, they all love you. And they have what we call an emotional investment in you. Mm -hmm. They want you to do the best. They want you to live out your dreams, right? They, but they want you to do it in the safest way possible. They don't want to see you get hurt. They don't want to see you uncomfortable. You, know, you can't go out to eat with the family because you're trying to save money for your Lexus. They don't like that. Come, they stuff don't like, like that. They don't understand. <laughs> mm -mm. and it's because they're emotionally invested and so when you're networking look for someone who is not your best friend somebody who starts off as a business relationship and then it turns into a friendship because when you start with a business relationship 
they can look at something, they can analyze your business, your ebook that you're about to write, your marketing plan, and say, sis, I don't think that's all the way right. Or I think we can go hard. That needs to be edited. Because they don't have an emotional investment in you besides I love you. I love you because we we do business, girl. You're my business woman. You know what I'm saying? So the hustle is different. The advice that you get is going to be different. Right. So when you're networking, you know, if you don't have a coach or somebody who can help you beyond an emotional level, I would highly encourage you to go get one. Social media is a great place to find one. Mm -hmm. Figure out your goals. Figure out what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then find people who align with that. Right. Okay. Very true. Because your mom is going to cheer for you even if you get a last place trophy. Your coach mm -hmm. won't be so forgiving, and you need that. You need that. You need somebody to be as big a critic on you as you are on yourself. Exactly. If not, if exactly. not more, <laughs> more so. Exactly. Exactly. And it doesn't have to necessarily like um, I skincare is my thing, but bees think is makeup, but they align, right? right? Because skin is the biggest organ right. in your body. You know. Mm -hmm. If you do hair or makeup, don't think that you can't go after someone who's a model or makeup artist because they don't necessarily always want to do their hair and makeup just because they can, you know. Um, you sell clothing. So, Raquel, I want to be. I like the way she keeps alive and she's so encouraging to one another. She would look good in my shirt, you know. Find people who, you know, really represent what you got going on. Mm -hmm. And I shout out Raquel on every one of my lives. Mm -hmm. And I want to skip the beat tonight. <laughs> my father just simply salted. She's a Christian boutique store. Hey, she's a Christian boutique store where she has super, super classy, but very, very, very fashionable clothing. So mm -hmm. check her out, okay? okay. We're at the salt of the work. Good club for my good sis. There you go. So... Um, I think that's pretty much we done came on here. We done gave y'all an hour and a half for yes. the free tips. Use that. Do y'all have any more questions before we go really quick? B, go ahead and pop up the press ons one more time so they can see you get that good tagline. At the upper body. The uptown body. Uptown body. Please help me. Uptown <laughs> body. They are not the same, okay? <laughs> affordable quality press on nails hey. all right y'all and last plug don't forget my black women are a blessing tea i got this from the black girl art show thank you guys so much for that they also gave me a where is it boom a cute little button to wear as well except it would cover the words so okay come on button the shirt okay we got one more question it looks like how do you get out of being shy any tips hmm you go first Raquel I've <laughs> never been shy in my life I wish I could. but actually I have I'm an extrovert but I really am an introvert mm -hmm. so the thing is <sighs> that's a long story okay um I used to have like personas, you know, when I was in college, everybody called me sassy from my professors to everybody, sassy, sassy this, sassy that. And that was like my alter ego. And that's how I did business. When I was on a radio station, hey, this is Sassy's Jazz Cafe. When I was on the sideline recordings, hey, it's Sassy Taylor, you know. So I kind of came up with a persona. But eventually it's like, you know, you can't hide behind that. Who are you? And where are you going to add value to? Mm -hmm. So I think you're a believer, Raquel. And I'm going to just say this as plainly and as simple as possible. Whenever I'm nervous, I already know that God has positioned me to be in the position that I'm supposed to be. And before I walk in the room, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Mm -hmm. And I walk in like I know that God got my back. Mm -hmm. Okay? I walk in knowing he's already prepared the atmosphere for everybody to be respected of my vision okay mm -hmm. so again it goes back to that mindset if you say you're shy then you will be mm -hmm. i love people 
I'm shy, but everybody comes up to me to talk to me. I can't believe I'm shy, but people, customers still come to my store every day. And just say those affirmations right where you are. You have everything you need. Mm-hmm. You can be shy. You're shy, and I still know your name. I still know your brand and know how to promote it. And we've never met. Your being shy is not holding you back. The right people are out there for you, and we're receptive to you and your brand. Mm. And you just have to walk like you know you got. Yeah. There is no other simply stopped it. Okay. There you go. I was shy. I was very shy. I just did. I got on live and walked up on the people. It's simple. Yes. Just do it. Just do it. Go for it. Just, for for me, for me, go ahead. like I've never really been shy. I've been an introvert, but. Mm-hmm. It's just something about, it comes back to that confidence. Like, there's nobody else on this planet like you. There's nobody else who walks or talks or breathes or exists like you. And what's the worst that can happen if I put myself out there? Like, what's the worst that can happen? You don't like me? Boo effing who? You know, that's Mm -hmm. the worst. The worst that could possibly happen is, like, I ask you something, you say no, or you don't like me. The world keeps turning. Mm -hmm. That's my mindset when it comes to like being shy or like stepping out there. Because for the longest time, what you say, mindset also. For the longest time, I would tell, I told myself that I was not a people person. Like I was very, (laughs) very, (laughs) like hands was ready. Even everybody very just snappy. And I told myself that I was not a people person. But once I started telling, you know, started speaking to myself differently and speaking about myself differently, I'm like, people love me because. I do right by people. I have a magnetic personality. People are drawn to me naturally. I don't have to do anything extra for people to receive who I am or receive what I do. I don't have to overexert myself to be accepted. The people who are for me are going to gravitate to me. The opportunities that are for me are going to gravitate to me. And thinking like that, it's just, there's no room for shyness. Like, it just, it leaves the body. <laughs> it leaves the body. Exactly. And like Taylor said, you know, I would just walk up on people. I'd just be like, do those bodacious activities that you like. I would never do this. Mm-hmm. Raquel, if you have a shirt on you, walk up to somebody who's like, I like her spirit. I see she can wear my shirt. How you doing, sis? I'm Raquel. I'm the owner of the Simply Salted uh, clothing brand for Christians. I know that you love God just as much as I do. And I got this shirt, and I know you're going to love it. Come check it out. I know you're going to love it. Bodacious activities. Yes. Bodacious activities. If you've never gone on live with your shirts, go on live with your product. I'm starting to do that. And it is nerve-wracking, you know, because it's like people looking at me. Yeah. What's up? It's weird. (laughs) People going to look at me and make this money every day, okay? That's it. From now it on. Used to. Yeah, yeah. It takes it takes a little bit of that that faith and that that confidence, you know. But like I said, you have everything within you already. Already. There's nothing you need to add. You don't need to change your hair. It's not the brand. It's not the site. It's you. Mm-hmm. Just take that step, you know. Um if you want, actually, I have a friend. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can hook you up with a business session with her. I'm going to go ahead and see. Yeah, I think she would definitely do yeah, that for see you. what happens when you, you ask questions and you open your mouth and you come on. Exactly. And I'm going to have her talk to you um, about techniques and an actual plan to get you out of that shyness. Maybe 30 days of getting you to that next step or whatever your goal is to get out of your shop. So uh I'll work with you on that. Hey Michelle. Girl, you came at the end. We done already we're about to go. Yeah. But that was a good question. Yes it was. I've had so much fun. This was I'll go ahead and drop some parts in there, some hand claps, some gems for D. Yes, girl, you see all the parts? There you okay. go. Yes, that was phenomenal. We're going to try to come back. I know y'all be like, oh, I like her. We're going to have to come back. So we'll make that happen for you guys. Yes. Um, yes. You want to put my own plug in? 
Go ahead. One last plug. One last yes. plug. Yes. Be sure to shop my press on nails. You don't want to be caught dead at a nail salon right now. So just get you a, pedic a manicure mm -hmm. in the comfort of your own house. Yes. yes. There you go. And they're reusable. They come in long and short, plain, whatever, custom. It's up to you. Yeah. But follow at the Uptown Body, and that's my business page. And all my lashes, nails are on there. So when y'all see me looking beat legs, week, and you're like, who did your nails? Who did your nails? Nobody did my nails, sis. They're luxury press-ons. Get go. it? Get your stuff. Okay. It. That's it. But this has been fun. We will definitely do this again. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you guys for joining and supporting as always. We will talk to y'all soon. I do have a live that I normally do Thursdays and Fridays, but Saturday, tomorrow, I'm doing a three a day, right? So no, it's not three a day, but I'm doing a third one. So this Saturday, this is Shandria will be here. Her name is Shandria TV, so y'all go check her out ahead of time. Drop the Instagram and your pin your Instagram. And uh, Shandria has a TV show in over 105 cities. She's located in Los Angeles, and she'll be joining me tomorrow, okay, talking about how you hustle in your business. So if you're wanting to make moves, convert sales, get yourself out there. If y'all thought part one was bad, wait till y'all hop on there tomorrow, okay? 105 cities on TV? Like, y'all. Wendy Williams, who is all I'm going to say, okay? <laughs> no. But it's going to be phenomenal. So uh, set your alarms. That'll be at 9 p.m. Uh, Central Time tomorrow, okay? There we go. So it's in there? Boom. It How do you say your at name, though? My at name is Go DJ Fufu Stick. It's a long story. It's a long story. It's a long story. You know who the go DJ is, <laughs> but I got the name and it's funny because I got the name in college and it was funny because the go DJs always thought I was a real go DJ. So they would like include me in emails and stuff. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not a real DJ. <laughs> but okay. it just sucks, so, you know. Because what's funny is, so we're doing the flyers and stuff and I'm like, I think it's guy J Fufu stick. So I have to figure. <laughs> I get that. It, it's go DJ. It, I get that a lot. So, Go DJ. Okay, okay. So I was like, is it God J Poo Poo Stick? I'm not <laughs> talking about that one if it ain't <laughs> okay, but I got them. No, no. Yes, awesome, y'all. So go follow my good sis, Beth. We'll see y'all soon. Talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, everybody. Bye, y'all.